and welcome back to another fabulous confabulation with me, Jay Mills. Now today I have the pleasure of speaking with a beauty who has a heart for culinary. This beauty has her own brand named Spice Grove. I would like to welcome Miss Audrey Powell. Hi guys, thanks for having me. So Thank nice to you. be here with you. Thank you for chatting with me. Absolutely. Okay, so now how did you get started on Spice Grove, your brand? Well, guys, first and foremost, I am Jamaican, and I grew up on a farm called Spice Grove. So that's where the name came from. Okay. And on that farm, the main source of our produce was allspice. Okay. So it's so fitting because allspice is one of the main ingredients in the drink. All right, and now you make Roselle, which Roselle. is your drink. Yes. So, so can you briefly explain like what's in it and like? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So Roselle is a hibiscus. Okay. So I'm sure most of you guys know what hibiscus is. So mm -hmm. Roselle is a species of hibiscus. In the Caribbean, we call it sorrel. And for most um, Caribbean, we do drink sorrel during the holiday season. Mm -hmm. So the Christmas season, New Year's season, it's a huge time to drink mm -hmm. sorrel. So sorrel is a hibiscus which is found in so many different parts of the world, including Australia. Mm -hmm. And in Australia, they call it Roselle. Okay. So I like the name because it's very pretty yeah. and very feminine. Right. Mm -hmm. So I decided to go with Roselle as opposed to Sorrel. Uh-huh. Yeah, I like the name too. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. And how do you like the drink? Really good. Awesome. And I can't wait to show them like, the <laughs> testing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Great. Can't wait for that. Yes. So now, where do you see your brand going in the future? Like, What are some goals you have for your brand? Very good question. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So we are in the process process of launching, and you know our main goal is to bring this delicious hibiscus mm -hmm. to the mass market outside of the Caribbean market because okay. we already in the Caribbean we've been enjoying this drink for years. It has so many health benefits, and therefore we. Definitely, that's one of the main goals is to distribute and market to the communities outside of the Caribbean communities. Okay. And it's a really refreshing drink. So anyone from young adult like yourself mm -hmm. to very grown folks out there in the audience, they <laughs> can enjoy a nice, delicious glass, healthy glass of Roselle. Yeah. So that's our goal is to definitely have national distribution okay. and of course the sky's the limit. So, yes. You know. Yes. We could dream big. Absolutely. <laughs> so we're definitely aiming for world distribution. Yes. Yes. And now you said there's health benefits to this drink. Absolutely. So can you like name a couple? Certainly. So um, the hibiscus. This, this plant in its natural, very natural states, mm -hmm. um, it's very good for high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. It's really good, it cleans your blood. So for example, like a young lady like yourself going through that preteen puberty stages, it's really good to clean your blood, make your skin look vibrant. So yeah, so it's really, really good for high blood pressure, some of it. Okay antioxidants to clean your blood mm -hmm. it's a good dietary you know um, regimen to have mm -hmm. um, the, the ingredients and I, I think I'm probably going ahead of you but you know the ginger that's also included you know ginger has many health benefits so combining that with the roselle it's just really mm -hmm. a powerful drink okay absolutely nice. yes. that's really good thank you gotta get her drink yes <laughs> gotta get my drink <laughs> So now, what would you say are the difficult things about, you know, making a brand and having a business? Um, so I'm going to change that word difficult to maybe challenging. Okay. So, I mean, obviously, you know, anything that we're trying to do, I'm sure you have come across some challenges of your own. Um, you know, there are definitely some challenges. For example, finding the right ingredient. Um, you know, sorrel is not grown here or roselle is not grown here in the U.S. Okay. So it has to be imported from different countries. So making sure of finding the very right brand, um, you know, the kind that 
that we can bring in that is extremely clean, if you will. It doesn't have any, um, let's say, sticks or flowers like some people would put in, like rose petals. Okay. Some people put sticks of wood mm -hmm. into the product because when I when I purchase it, I have to purchase it dry. Okay. So that's one of the challenge, making sure that I find the right distributor excuse me, to get the right product on the market. Um, the, the, one of the second you know, challenge that I think I, um, I, I faced and I learned very quickly is trying to make a product that is very mass appealing. So for okay. example, making sure that there's a balance between having something that's very um, attractive in okay. taste, mm -hmm. um, you know, um, that's going to appeal to yourself and it could appeal to an older person okay. um, and or someone who's never tasted it before. So mm -hmm. it's just making sure that it's not too sweet, for example. Um, it's not too overpowering with mm -hmm. the, the, the ginger. So have, getting that right balance. So okay. I actually worked on this formula um, that we will introduce to your audience um, for over three years. Wow. So it's definitely... Um, I'm very proud of it, and it, you know those were some of the challenges that I definitely okay. had to overcome. Yes. yes. So now for beauties who want to maybe create a business or maybe even like make drinks and stuff, how what are some tips that you can give them? Well, you know, first of all, don't ever think that your ideas are not good. Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing. If you have an idea and you see you know something that you believe in you have to as they say speak it to the universe mm -hmm. um and and the more you talk about it the more you work towards it the more it becomes real right so having that's your first thing you have to believe in yourself because mm -hmm. if you don't believe in yourself no one else is going to believe in you right so you have to manifest that you know right. you have to walk upright you have to you know portray that out there that your friends your family people around you they can see that you have a mission and you have to stick with it and you know you'll come across pitfalls but you get up you dust yourself off and you move on so you know i definitely have a very you know um wide interest in culinary okay. i've always like you know cooking and mm -hmm. making things and you know i call everyone my guinea pig <laughs> you know i'm excited when people come over um so yes yeah, so I, I i have a passion and and my partner emil um three years ago i made him the drink and he absolutely said you should have other people. He's like, this is just too good for people not to be having this. Right. And I was like, wow, I'm having his support, <laughs> you know, which, hey, you got to have, you know, if you're, if you have a partner or if your parents, your siblings, people have to believe in you and they support you. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go for it. Right. So that was one of the first things that I, I truly, truly enjoyed is having that support. And I right. believed in it and I just kept at it. I would get knocked down, but I just kept at it and kept at it. So, and here we are. Right. Forget about it. Right. Isn't and that I awesome? Feel, yeah. And I feel like if you believe in it and you stick with it, then other people will eventually Absolutely. Try Especially if you have a good product. Right. You know, you have mm -hmm. something out there that may not, you know, listen, they have a million different orange juice out there, right? right? So, <laughs> you know, right. but there are, you know, you have the, the one that you like that you right. go for. It. That's exactly. the whole idea with this brand is to mm -hmm. make sure that we put out a really good product. And an right. honest product. Right. Yes. Right. Sure. So what kind of formal training do you need to have to make drinks and to have a business? Well, you don't need any formal training. Okay. I don't have any formal training. Okay. I went to Long Island University. I have an undergrad in business administration. I've worked in corporate America my entire life, and I just love to cook. My okay. mother was an amazing cook. My brother, he has a restaurant, never oh, went cool. to culinary school. Uh -huh. So it's in our DNA, right? <laughs> right. So um, I personally don't have any formal training in the culinary arts. Uh -huh. However, 
um, I can tell you it's from here. The training mm -hmm. is here. It's self-discipline. It's making sure that, you know, you're committed. If you're committed to something, you stick to it. Right. Don't give up. So you have to have a lot of discipline and, you know, just keep working at it. And I guess that's my training. I've always been a patient person mm -hmm. and I've always just have a lot of faith, you know, in the creator. I have an abundance amount of appreciation for life uh -huh. and and that is my training <laughs> you know yeah. mm -hmm. it's, it, it, it's more informal than it is formal of right course. yes and because you love to cook what dish would you say best showcases your creativity oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there's not just one dish lovely Four audience dishes. um Hmm. I'm going to think about this one. Okay. So I truly enjoy making authentic Jamaican food. I okay. don't cook it every day. Mm -hmm. um, I especially like making oxtail. I, you know, some people don't like red meat, but I really love making oxtail. Okay. And of lately, I have perfected my own jerk ginger rub baked chicken. Oh. It's to die for. Ooh, I'm gonna for. have to have some of that. Absolutely, you must come over again. Yes. More reason to come over. Mm -hmm. So that's um, I, I you know, but I, I, you know, honestly, I just I enjoy cooking. I mm -hmm. I love cooking. I love being in the kitchen, and just whipping something up. Mm -hmm. And people think I'm nuts, but you know, <laughs> that's what we do, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, do you think that cooking needs any mathematical skills? At first, I didn't. Okay. But I don't. Now. I don't cook with like by a recipe. Mm -hmm. But guys, I have to tell you this. So I go to the incubator, Rutgers Innovation Food Innovation Center, mm -hmm. and we have to do what you call benchmark. So benchmarks are where they they take your homemade product mm -hmm. and they make sure. Everything is correct in terms of measurement to get you to a recipe from one gallon to 30 gallons to 100 gallons. Oh. And it's all mathematically inclined. Really? Yes. <laughs> so it totally felt like I was in a lab, um, a physics chemistry lab, <laughs> math lab, all wrapped up um, because every single drop of water i mean they were measuring the density of water versus the density of the product uh -huh. so you know it is definitely a science mm -hmm. and i have a new appreciation for you know the culinary arts because i watch a lot of these programs as well mm -hmm. you know from you know the the chef programs and all these other um, cook programs on TV or online, and you realize that there is definitely a high science. You have to know the food, you have to know, you know, the ingredients, mm -hmm. you have to know the measurements. Mm -hmm. So yes, it's definitely, okay. I have more of appreciation for that, but I do have to admit, I cook a lot by smell. Really? Yes, not much so much measurements. It's um but I, I'm starting to get better at it. So, so do yes. you so do you ever have a hard time cooking the same thing that you cook like maybe like like the day before or something like no nope. never? No. Nope. Really? No. Nope. I think and again that's I think that's a gift, you know. That is a um gift. <laughs> but yes, I could my my partner can tell you, you know, I, I, I will cook uh, a fish mm -hmm. and I'll just go in the kitchen and I'll make that fish and wow. two weeks later I'll make the same fish you wow. know so yeah but yes recipes we should have recipes <laughs> I'm gonna start writing my own re recipe <laughs> you should have like a recipe book <sighs> mm. that's a great idea <laughs> yeah maybe we can work on it together yeah <laughs> all right so, how do you handle negative feedback 
regarding your drink or your food or your business in general? I realize that you will always have critics. Mm -hmm. And if someone's feedback is constructive, okay. that's really good. Yes. You know, we can all learn from criticism, mm -hmm. especially when it's constructive. Mm -hmm. And I realized very early on that this drink was not going to be for everyone mm -hmm. because it's a very robust ginger mm -hmm. taste. And not everyone likes ginger. Right. And you know what? That's fine. Right. And I realized that if you don't love ginger, you will not like this drink. Okay. And through the process of the three years I mentioned working mm -hmm. on this formula, I did get a lot of feedback. Okay. I got really good feedback, really good criticism, um, you know, and I took that. And I appreciated it and you work on making something, like I said, that can be introduced on a wider scale. Uh -huh. So I do welcome feedback. Okay. I, you know, sometimes, you know, you're doing your thing and it's, I would lie to you if I tell you it's, you know, it's easy. Mm -hmm. But again, I am mature enough to know that these things can only help us in the process. Right. Right. And if someone, especially if someone means you well. Right. Right, so I take that and I will put that to very good use. Right, you know, sometimes I may use it, sometimes I may not, but I always appreciate someone's feedback. Mm -hmm. Yes, but negative feedback, do you just kind of brush it off? If it's negative to the point where it's insulting, mm -hmm. you know, that's that person's issue. Right, it's not mine. Okay, you know, and I move on. I okay. don't harbor feelings, you know, and some negative feedback is good, actually, because it makes you think about what's out there in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not going to please everyone. Right. So, right. you know, um, so I do like to take criticism. And if someone has a negative feedback, again, that's their, that's issue. their issue. That's not mine. Right. I appreciate them and I keep it moving. Right. <laughs> exactly. So now what would you do? If you were cooking something, right? Mm -hmm. This is a scenario. Mm -hmm. If you were cooking something and you didn't have all the ingredients for mm -hmm. your meal, what? How would you go about that? Improvise. <laughs> <laughs> I like to improvise, guys. Okay. Because, quite frankly, you know, sometimes it's the spur of the moment, and so yes. I like to improvise a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like that's the kind of person. You yes. Are. Totally. You're improvising <laughs> sporadically, you know. Not everyone, you know, thinks like that. All yes. Time. No. I yeah. have to. You got to be able to think on your feet, man. <laughs> yep. Totally. Right. Totally. <laughs> yes. So I do improvise a lot. That's good, though. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Creative. Yes. Very exactly. Creative. Thank you. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> <laughs> So now, what is the first thing you should do before you start working with food? You want to have a very neat, clean space. I'm obsessive with that. Like, mm. you know, I don't go to bed if my kitchen is not clean. I don't care how tired I am, mm. how exhausted. The floors has to be mopped. <laughs> The stove needs to be wiped down, countertops, everything. So I do like, you know, order. Mm -hmm. And so that's one of the first things okay. I would say. You have a clean space. Things need to be in order. Okay. Um, it, it clears your mind. You know, it makes you approach whatever you're about to do in mm -hmm. a really good mindset. Okay. So that's the very first that's thing the you very have first to thing. do Absolutely. when handling food. Yes. <laughs> Make sure you have a clean space. Right. Absolutely, yes. So now that you have your brand, what steps did you take to put your team together to help maintain the success of your business? I love this question. Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited that you actually asked me this mm -hmm. question because I made such a conscious effort about the people I wanted to be involved. Mm -hmm. I wanted 
people like us, very positive, outgoing, mm-hmm. energetic people, people who understood my vision right. and brought their ideas right. into it. So, of course, my partner, Emil, was number uno, 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 numero, numero, uno. And I, numero uno. All right. I'm nervous, guys. You make me nervous. Numero uno. Because Emil, you know, comes from a financial background. And obviously, when you're starting a business, you have to have a good financial setup. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I obviously, I know nothing about fi- setting up financial okay. models and how costs work. Uh-huh. I would just literally go to the store, buy the product, come back, and I'm just, you know, mm-hmm. but he put everything together. Okay. And of course, you know, find, finding someone to do the logo and the branding right. and making sure that we had the right, um, uh, logo and the branding that showcased the product mm-hmm. and then we started you know started tying in together where we brought in experts someone who has an expert in the culinary arts in the be- the space of beverage okay. um, and it's so amazing how everything tied in together because I went out and I found this amazing guy who mm-hmm. is a designer and he did all the branding and I wow. literally found him through my networking just saying I'm starting a beverage company and I'm looking for someone to do my designs right. and he responded and he's amazing his name is Jeff Castillo okay. and he is a rock star and Emil went to um, university with a friend and I can't say his name okay. but um, he's in the beverage space and he's been on the team okay. and he gives really good advice um, if we have problems finding warehouses, if we have problems finding, you know, different distribution okay. and shipping and, you know, I can always call on him. Mm-hmm. And so we really do have a solid team and that's, that's really good. important that you have people that you trust. Mm-hmm. You have people who have expertise in their area because it all really just melts together right you know it's like i don't know everything obviously Mm -hmm. and so where i'm falling short i have others absolutely absolutely Mm -hmm. and so that i think that's wonderful Mm -hmm. so yes i'm really excited about my team and it's good to ask for help yes absolutely oh god we told that all the time (laughs) yes ask for help audrey yes very true so now before we do the tasting of yes. your drink, uh, do you have any last advice for the beauty? Well, I think I'll go back by, you know, where I started. Believe in your dreams. Believe yeah. in your ideas. Keep working at it. You can have many different ideas. That's okay. You know, it's all a learning process, especially younger folks. You know, I remember, you know, growing up, I had no clue this is where I would be. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed cooking, Mm -hmm. you know, and with that encouragement and that support, here I am talking about this product. So believe in yourself, you know, Mm -hmm. and and if there's something that you truly, truly, if you're passionate about something, just go for it. Just keep pushing. Keep pushing on. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, guys, so we are preparing for the tasting. So can you just t- briefly tell them like what we're about to do right now? Absolutely. So this is the Roselle drink, okay. which we are absolutely going to taste. Mm-hmm. And, you know, during the show, we talk about, you know, being in a lab. This is a beaker. <laughs> mm-hmm. So if any one of you from your chemistry class, this is All a right. beaker. Um, and so we're going to do different fruit blends with the roselle so we have the ginger um this is some of the petals can you see that yeah and (laughs) and um pineapple uh apple and mango so we're going to put it all in this nice juicer here and do some tasting so we're gonna And we 
are about to test some drinks. That's right, guys. So, All right. So this is the original, and oh, that's the original. we're going to have Min, our little helper, <laughs> and Jamila. That. Hang on, Min. Wait. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Mm. It's actually really good. Oh, oh good. see? Very good. Awesome. Taste really the ginger. Sweet. Nice. Very good. All right. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to do a little experiment. We're yeah. going to make some combination of drinks. So which one would you guys like to try first? I would love to try the mango. All right, mango <laughs> it is. Okay, mango it is. So we're going to take this little measure. I know. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye.